Hey guys, it's your main man. Actually, I'm bringing you guys some more Pokemon Blaze Black 2. In the last episode, we finished off Team Plasma and defeated Getsis. And today, I said that I was going to fight this Juxus and see if I could catch it. So, we're going to try and catch it, shall we? Anyway, uh, I have done some research into this game and uh, have learned a bit more. Um, in the last episode, I talked to a guy in the Giant Chasm just before we uh, met Kira in in the cave and uh, he's actually one of many um, activators and uh, these legendary activators are scattered all around the uh, Unova region and I uh, will hopefully show them off to you as they come up so we got this Deoxys here and I'll see how Wow! Wow! That was bad. Okay, so I tried at least. Um, yeah, failure. But uh, at least I tried anyway. Oh, I'm pretty sure they come back after a while, so doesn't matter. Anyway, let's just get out of here because we need to go to the next area. We need. I've yeah. The only place we need to go n right now is the Pokemon League, so as soon as I can find a way out of this place, we can do exactly that. Let's get this item over here, a Star Peach. Star Peace. I'm not exactly sure how to get out of this place. Maybe we should just fly out of here. I think that's the best option. Um, actually, we're so, we're not even that far from the outside, I'm not even sure how we're supposed to get out of here, I think, we come over here I think, and then we come over here, yeah, I'm right, so, yeah, how you guys been doing, I've been doing great, been not that while since I'm recording again. Today is Saturday. Um, quite a nice day outside. And here we are at Route 23. Uh, those two plasma guys are no longer getting on our way, and I might as well use this. Um, seriously? Okay. Um, to restore so we can heal up in Zuma and so we can carry on. Um, let me switch my team up a bit. So Archer is at the end. And let's give him if I can find it. Who has it? Summary. I'm looking for the uh, Lucky Egg, okay? So Skepta has it, okay. give you the Miracle Seed, I guess. Hopefully they all will get some like good items to give our Pokemon. And so let's carry on. This is Route 23, this is like just before the uh, this is just before the uh, um, what is it called? Um, the Route Before the League, I think it was called. Victory Road, yeah, it's just before Victory Road, and I'm going to need freaking uh, something. Uh, I think you can surf there actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we can surf here. And we got ourselves a hot scale. That's useful. Of course, we can buy hot scales in this game, which is fun. Anyway, we're nearly coming to the uh, official end of this game. Um, if you're asking if I will do the after game, yes I will. Uh, those won't be bonus episodes, those will actually be part of the uh, series. Because it is part of the game. And I don't, I'm actually quite planning it right now. I'm planning how I will do it. Because uh, there's a lot of things to do in the after game that you, you know, that you need to do. And I really want to 
guys the best. So, that's why I'm doing it. So I'm going to go with Brave Bird, take out this Hariyama, take it out. Yeah, super effective, Reckless Boosted, Stab, take it out for sure. Um, I should get in the level, that's great. Uh, Miensha, Miensha, I'll stay in 4. Instead of going for Brave Bird, because I've lost half my health already, I'm going to go for the Fly. Take it out. Oh, we went for high jump kick and crash. I should be speeding this up. What am I doing? Lucario. Actually, Lucario is weak to. Well, it's weak to fight attack so let's go for close combat. Bye bye. Double edge. Double edge is really, really useful move, especially with a. Uh, but to be honest, I really like the uh I'm gonna give up on double edge, I'm not gonna learn it just yet. Um I would have learned it if I didn't have fly. But I might learn it. I might later on when I get to the league, I will of course, you know, change up my movesets and train a bit. Just so it's it, so I can make it a bit more easier. Anyway, this guy's got a Yan Mega. I'm gonna take it out with the flamethrower, bug buzz. I don't have any special defensive Pokemon, which is kind of hindering me at this point. Because I know I should have at least one, and why is it not switch out? Because this Lapras is going to be bad for my health. I'm gonna switch it to Sergi. Really should have, um. What was it? I really should have got a Pokemon that especially defensive because most of my team are sweepers. The only really defensive Pokemon on my team is um, the Sidon, my Rhyperia. And especially defensive wise, it can't take hits for shit. Uh, the only kind of moves it can really take are moves that are not very effective. So, yeah, it's. There's, there's that. That might be the biggest problem on my team because in case like I want to switch out to take a hit, I have nothing to take a special hit. So yeah, we got this pro pass here. It's steel type, isn't it? It's rock steel. So let's go for a flame pro. Oh, I... I'm confused actually. Oh, it paralyzed me. Uh, I might as well heal. Let's go for the forest door. Not really sure. Trouble Pass is either pure. It's either pure. Um, it's either pure rock or rock steel. I'm not sure. I'll check on that right, actually later on. Uh, Mama Swine. Mama Swine is ground type. So Surgi should be great for this. Also, it's a uh, ice type. So if I go for. Let's say Aura Sphere. It'll still be super effective. Hammer Swines are very, very bulky Pokemon that can't take hits for shit. We got this Parasite coming in. Um, I think I should can do with that Parasite. This is a freaking Parasite. They have no souls. The mushrooms on their backs take over their brain, I think. I don't know what the, uh, the uh, Pokemon Pokedex says about. Um, Parasect. This cafe ball should give me a lot of, a lot of experience. Yeah. Okay, but oh yeah, I could talk about other things, can't I? I could talk about um, what was it? New news of Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, I can talk about that, can't I? Um, basically what's been going on is, uh, and this guy gives us tier 1 hidden claws that boost uh, attack and accuracy, very useful move. Um, what I was going to say is that um, new Pokemon have been revealed, uh, new po new, the new type, the new fairy type of course, 
I haven't really talked about it in quite a while actually, so I should talk about it now. Um, in terms of new typing, the new typing fairy type is very interesting. I mean, how does a fairy be a dragon? I don't understand. The fairy type is basically there to uh, weaken the uh, dragon type because the dragon type is very, very powerful. The only thing it's weak to is ice and. What was it? Ice and. And I died for no reason. Okay. Um, the only thing it's weak to is ice and. Ice and other dragon type moves. So, to see it get. You know. Something to defeat it. Kind of does make sense. So. But. It's not really gonna affect anything, I don't think, because first of all, most dragon types are pretty strong. I mean, you got Salamence, Hydreigon, you got you got Garchomp, of course. You know, you got very powerful dragon types. Not most people can deal with it. No, most people can deal with a lot of dragon types, and you know, to see that. It's possibly getting, you know, some kind of. It's possibly getting something weakened. It's, it's getting weaker. Um, it's, it's not really that much of a big threat. Uh, if the fairy type is more, it needs to be something like it. Um, I it, it has to either resist. Or mm, it has to either uh, resist or not be affected by dragon type moves to be any useful. It, it doesn't help that it's just that it's just strong its dragon types. It needs that extra boost. It must either resist or um, not be affected by dragon type moves. Those are the only two things that will make fairy types useful. Um, a lot of Pokemon will be converted into fairy types. We found out that Jigglypuff and uh, what was it? Jigglypuff, God of War, and I forget Marrow. That means Azumarill will also be a fairy type, I'm guessing. And uh, those Pokemon will be fairy types as well. So, how does that change the uh, overall kind of uh, meta game? It doesn't really. Um, we don't really know much about it. If it resists, or if it's, um, if it, it is not affected by dragon types, it will change the meta game completely. Um, it will have a huge effect. But otherwise, fairy types, I, I'm kind of okay with them. You know, fairy, fairy doesn't sound, you know, it sounds really girlish in my opinion. But you know, you gotta, you gotta have something. You know. I think light types would be a bit better, but fairy type, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, also, the new Pokemon that have been revealed, uh, like the new fairy types, I don't know what their names are, but uh, um, they seem really cool. I like uh, Pancham's new evolution, who's been named, I think it's called... Um, I think it's something, I don't know. I forget what it's called. Um, there's that Pokemon, really awesome. That's something I'm getting. That is something I'm getting for my team. We've got a wild battle, we can deal with them this time. We... Wow, level 56. That's not really wow. But there's also. Um, Pokemon that I think of getting a uh, Hondage that uh, Steel Ghost type. No, yeah, Steel Ghost type, and that seems interesting. I mean, it's very good. It's got a very interesting uh, uh, typing, and uh, it's got the ability I think No Guard, which is the same ability that Machamp gets, which basically means any moves hits. It doesn't matter of its accuracy, any move hits. So. That makes a lot of that makes a lot of differences because you know you can give it like moves like one hit KO moves probably and 
it will properly work. I don't think it works with Bonnie and Goon. Actually, I, I think it does, actually. It could be very useful depending on stats. You know, it could be, you know, Steel Ghost type, it resists. It's not, it's not, it's not affected by, uh, it's not affected by normal type moves and steel resists nearly everything so and also there was what was it oh yeah that uh, jellyfish pokemon or that squid pokemon i forget what it's called and it has that ability no it has that attack topsy turvy and it's a uh, psychic dark type i think it's called yeah it's like dark type which is something that I've been wanting for a long time. I was, I've always wanted what kind of, I've always wanted a psychic dog type just to see what kind of a, what's weak to it. Probably four times weak to bug, and uh, it probably be weak against the. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably weak against fighting type moves, knowing that knowing uh, history. It's probably not weak to uh, um, Dark Knight moves anymore. Not affected by Psychic. Not... Yeah, it's probably very useful. And uh, the new trailer of the new uh, team, Team Flair, Fleur, whatever. The whole uh, Paris motif is really startling, to be honest. Um, I've just gone the long way around for no reason. Oh well, I better put up the uh, Dowsing Machine. Because there might be some items around here. I think I'm running low on some items. There's an item over there. A star piece. That's going to be useful. I don't know what to do with star pieces. Because you, know, you can't convert them into... Uh, um, what was it? Gems? Not gems. Shards. You can't convert them into shards anymore. Which is kind of important. Have I gone this way? I'm not sure. Item there. Let's go get it. It's a rare candy. Yay, rare candies. There's waterfall over there, but I can't get to it. So let's come over here and there's another item. Oh, it's up there. Okay. There was no point in me doing that. Putting up a new repel. There was no point of that. But I still did it. Anyway, we got a battle against this ranger, Lena. Yay. I'm considering a lot of things lately, you know, about this channel. Um, what should I do on it? Um, on Sundays, uh, I've started doing uh, narrations. I used to do that on my old channel, but I was like, let that channel be my personal channel. And let that channel be, you know, by itself, it, it doesn't need to be anything. To be honest, I don't need to post anything. So I'm not, so I'm not going to post anything on that channel anymore. It's just gonna be, you know, my personal channel where I subscribe to everyone. I, I nearly have like, I, I'm nearly subscribed to like 100 people. So it will be my personal channel, which I will use for anything. And if I want to do anything else, I'll just make a new channel because it's just really easy. Anyway, we are here in the Victory Road. And uh, look, it's N. You came? That's what she said. The Pokemon League is just past Victory Road. Pokemon battles do nothing more than hurt Pokemon. That's how I understood it. And that's why I hated battles. But it's not that simple. Pokemon battles decide winners and losers is true, yet they do so much more. Your Pokemon, you, your opponents, and their Pokemon. Everyone can see what wonderful things the others can contribute. That's right, accepting different ideas, different beings, changes the world with like a chemical reaction. Pokemon battles are like a catalyst, a small component that leads to big changes. My friend Zekrom told me that, and it's a formula I've derived from traveling the world. I want you to think for yourself about what it means. 
Here, take this with you. The new Victory Road has lots of tough challenges to get through. Okay, we get the TM02 Dragon Claw, which is a very useful, very useful Dragon type move. Uh, usually, you get that really late in the game um, in the Dragon Spell Tower, but uh, right now we get it uh, right now, which is kind of good. I think it gives you something else in the original game. But here we have the gates, so these things are going to scan us uh, so they know um, which badges we got, and uh, yeah. So, um, I like the older version to be honest, but this is cool. So, Bolt Badge confirmed, Quake Badge confirmed, I remember all these uh, gym, battle, gym battles pretty easily, uh, she was easy, ridiculously easy, this guy had me scared but was easy anyway, and uh, this guy was really easy, because water types suck, lol, I'm joking, it's, water types don't suck, water types are awesome, but uh, yeah, Here's the skate. Fancy animation. Now we've just pretty much let anyone come through this area. But here we are, Victory Road. Over here is Pokemon Center. I'm not going to go in there just yet. Because uh, there's some other stuff we need to do. Like uh, there's some other places that we need to explore. Anyway, over here there's an item, so let's go get it. There's a Duck Stone, you can use that to evolve certain Pokemon. And over here, I'm being guided over here. Oh, why did I do that? That was a waste. Um, no, I can't go there. It's a very ominous music. Okay. I think we've just gone backwards. Oh, there's an item there. So let's go get it. Protect her. We can use that to evolve our Rhyhorn, Rhydon into a Rhyperior. But we've already done that, so. Oh, here we got an iron. They give me that really freaking late. What if you didn't. What if you did not know, you know, you could do that? That was just. That's just unfair. But over here we got another item. There's a PP up. I don't think you can get over there. Actually, I think I've already been there. I think that's. Oh, why did I do that? It's just my hand just gravitates to that to that point, man. It's not. Ah, oh, I'm just wasting my money. But to be honest, I have like so much money, so I shouldn't be scared about. Anyway, I'm gonna go into the Pokemon Center uh, just for a bit, and we're gonna continue uh, exploring this route because there's more stuff to see. And I'll see you guys. And back outside the Pokemon Center, and um, you're going to need cut for this next. You're going to need two things actually for this next section. You're going to need cut, and you're going to need strength. You know why? Because extra experience is good for your health. Anyway, uh, let's come over here and uh, let's get to the next area because Route 23 is not over just yet. And we can use HM to cut. Never even use my HM slave because. All the uh, HMs were very useful. Um, oh yeah, I need to repel. I've only got 10 left, so super careful. But I think I got some max repels, so. Um, let's use HM to cut this. But a boo. I have a feeling that there's something here. Yeah, there's an Ultra Ball! Too bad I have like so many. I have like 60, I think. No, I've got 40. I'm not sure. We've got a battle over here. This trainer has pride. I'm about to rip that pride right out of you, bro. He's got a mag mortar like I do. I'm not that scared. Because the side is gonna come in. And he's gonna use strength, I guess. Focus blast! Oh no, it's super effective, but didn't take me out. The silence of beast. Beast with no parallels. Well, that leftover recovery is gonna be nice. Um, Electrifier. Oh, well, he's the only Pokemon that can really switch into, so. Oh, for the love of God. That was not nice. Um, 
I have nothing really to hit this thing. But I said, let's. I guess Ostro can do a bit of damage. Just, uh. Ah, oh, I forget that. No, oh, that was stupid. Uh. Yeah, it speeds me, so let's go for Confuse Ray. Ah, oh, he has Earthquake! Oh, that's, that's freaking great. And let's see if the Fire Blast will hit. Yay! Come on, dude. Oh, what the hell? Play for yourself. Yay, he hit himself. Bye bye. Let's fire. As I was saying, I was, I was a Scavalier. Cavaliers. Oh man, I should be loud, I should. Um, as I was saying, I was going to switch into, uh, what was it? Uh, Konoha because he has Earthquake and he's not affected by those moves. Oh, what the hell? He got a crit? What the, the next hit is gonna take me out. If goes from Mega Horn and Hex, I'm gonna be very angry. Giga Impact! Flame Body! Ha! Lol. And now he's pretty much open to any attack, so I'm gonna go for Flame Pro. Don't wanna risk it. Bye bye, Scavalier. Scavalier's got a really high attack stat, but it's not really that useful, in my, in my opinion. I don't really use bug types. Just gonna go fake out. Um, I don't know what the moves he's got. Nice slash, let's see how much damage that does. Oh my god. I'm horrible. Two of my Pokemon are... If I ever did a Nuzlocke run, which I'm thinking of doing soon, after this game, doing a Nuzlocke run or game, maybe a randomized Nuzlocke, I'll probably fail at everything, because... I don't think. You know, it's not competitive. It's not like Pokemon is competitive battling, you know. I have the Pokemon... I have the ability to arrive on Pokemon at any time, so you know, I don't think when I'm playing Pokemon it's just it's just like second nature to me, especially because I've been playing it for so long. I'm gonna use that last hyper potion. We're gonna use Thor's so Bring back Ashra and yeah, yes. Anyway, let's come over here, and let's go here, I guess, and let's take on this guy. Let's fight! Burrow, row, fight the power! Got here comes his Scrafty, Swagger. Uh, Scrafty is weak against fighting type moves, so I should go into Surgi and take it out with the Aura Sphere. That would be great. Thanks. Focus punch! Oh my god. If I knew that, I wouldn't have switched. Damn me. But now he's gonna go for another one and be stupid. Should've gone for a high jump kick. Wouldn't have been for him. Unprotected focus punch. That's the only kind of move that I can't pull off because it's too hard. Anyway, we're gonna take out the scoop root tops with an aura sphere. Bye bye. I don't know, yeah, I think they're around like level 70, the uh, D4, so I should be like on track to uh, deal with them, which is nice, being on track is a good thing, um, there's no item over there, at least I don't actually there is, there's a repeat ball, repeat balls are very useless, you know, use them to catch, they have a higher chance of catching a Pokemon that you've already caught. So that's kind of a waste. Oh, rustling grass. I'm not going to go into it. Uh, over here we got a, we got a battle against another hiker. This episode has been very long. 30 minutes, wow. Maybe because I waste my time, I don't know. Uh, upgrade to take out this Gigalith. Sturdy. Oh, it's probably gonna go for the explosion this time. Because I know that Gigalift uh, I've always wanted to use a Gigalift, too bad I never really felt the need to. 
I need to switch because Agron is weak against uh, ground tank groups. Ah, oh, he's still. That has to do as well, but he's gonna go for Heavy Slam. So reflected that did jack shit to me. Um, strength. Take it out. Easy peasy. If I ever do decide to do a uh, Nuzlocke run, I'm gonna do like kind of a. I'm gonna wait a while actually until I do a Nuzlocke run. Because. I'm, d I'm not used to that kind of thing, you know, I've tried one, you know, it's just way too freaking hard. Um, you know, it depends on what kind of rules I set myself. Anyway, I'm going to skip this back. Back again, and let's come over here. And there's some other stuff. More rustling grass. Oh. Man, I'm burping like a bitch. I don't think we can get out there. Okay. What was the point? Um. Let's get that item over there. Oh, I can't get to Okay. What am I supposed to do? There was an item up there. I just failed. Okay. This place is like a maze. This is like. When I was playing this, I, I recently finished um, this game on my DS. And. It was it, this this puzzle had me for a while. Yeah, I recently finished the game that came out like a year ago. Yeah, that's how I felt when I finished Sonic Generations. But hey, what can you do? Um, I don't think it's supposed to put them down there. It's supposed to like do like a massive U-turn and stuff. Uh, I think he's. Yeah, I think he do that. And then you come round. You push this over here. And somehow not get stuck. Oh, well done. Uh. Mm, I don't know. No. Seriously, they, st they seriously need to stop putting, like, Pokemon that look like Pokeballs and then. You know, tricky. It's, it's not nice to do. It's not a nice thing. Anyway, I'm gonna have to do that pull bug again. And push this over here. Get a super bow. Full of heal. And I can't go over there. So, let's come over here. Push this? I guess you can push it from here. Oh, I know what to do. There's a battle over here. I'm guessing she's not gonna let us pass that place. Challenge the Pokemon D, huh? It's no wonder you might feel a bit nervous, but you've got to believe. And your Pokemon do it. You gotta believe! I believe. I believe I can fly. Now I'm just saying for no reason. Anyway, she's got an exam, she's probably got the uh, the Fox Blast, so I better switch into a Pokemon that can take the Fox Blast, so I switch into my Konoha. And Energy Wolf, okay. Seems legit. But I predicted him very well. Thunder Wave? No! I'm so sad. That's your Pokemon is painting. Um, Leafy on Ashra. Flame Thrower. Having that work fire grass core is just so awesome in a Pokemon. Leafy on is broken. Leafy on will die. Leafy on is not that good of a Pokemon. To be honest. It doesn't have that best. Um, what was it? Physical attacks are. Even though it learns like really powerful moves like Leaf Blade. So here comes that Shadow Ball. It's a big chunk. That's something I'm scared about. Uh, but no HP. That's something I'm scared about. If you guys want to know, let's go for into Inazuma. Take the Shadow Ball hopefully pretty well. Yeah we do. I think Inazuma has the highest special defense out of every, every Pokemon on my team. 
But we took her out. Um, let's heal up for a second. I'm just wasting my forest stores at this point. God, it's fun too. Ah, this room has been long. Maybe it's because I keep fucking up. I'm supposed to get over there. I'm actually quite confused. I think there is a way to get there. Let's try this way, shall we? Okay, this way seems the way to go. Yeah, this way. Uh, that was a machine. Over here, we got our HP up. That's gonna be useful for Pokemon. Alright, HP stats. Alright, so where should we go next? I guess we should go do that rock puzzle. Ah, oh, this thing is like a maze. It's just long and wants to drain you of your resources. Uh, let's come over here and get that item we didn't get before. And that was a calcium. So worth it. So worth it. Something that you can buy. So worth it. Anyway, let's come over here and swim. It's an item. Oh, it's that, so... It's that little rock over there. Let's get it! We got a yellow shard! Anyway... Um, I'm supposed to push this somewhere. Okay, then we do that. Yay! And then we push this over here. Yay, progress. Um, I don't think we can push this. Then we can push this all the way over here. Yay, and now we can push this all the way over here. Success! We did it! And now we must come over here because there are a few battles. Uh, there's that lady. I'm going to wait for her. Hi. Oh, well, I wonder what she's doing to us behind that tree. No, she's having a Pokemon battle. People out there with your dirty minds don't think of dirty things. Uh, I guess strength. Taunt! I don't even have any setup moves. Goodbye. Um, a champ, a champ. Hmm. I guess special attack wise is not that great, so. I guess. Nah. Pasha is a bit better. Because at least then I can inflict the burn. Maybe I should get Will O Wisp instead of Confuser. A bit more useful. Close combat. Now was that did a lot of damage. And bye bye. Okay, now we must heal again. PP up and what is over here? The final item TM12 taunt. Alright, so we are pretty much done uh, for this area and I am pretty much done for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, and there's an item over there. And there's an item over there. TM50 overheat and please. 
like if you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later for some more Pokemon Blaze Black 2. Peace.